throw a kick-ass party? Well, I'm told I'm the queen of parties, and I agree I'm fabulous at it. You come to the right place. So what it's going to take is a great imagination and advanced planning. Come with me. I'm going to give you my secret formula. So the first thing you have to decide upon is you need a theme. And I just turned 70, and I wasn't happy about it until I decided an excuse for a party. And so that's my theme, a surprise 70th birthday party. And the only surprise is, I'm the only one who knows about it. I'm gonna surprise everybody else. Okay, the next thing is, I want tango, dancers, music. I love to dance, so I'm making a surprise 70th birthday tango party. Now, a theme uh, doesn't just get executed because you have pretty decorations, which I gave a lot of thought to, but I'm gonna have every waiter in a black outfit, kind of sexy looking, with a red poncho top. And I've taken tango lessons myself with my brother, and we're gonna have a tango competition. But let me tell you, everything about this party is gonna be themed for every little speck, every little detail. And everything from that point on has gotta say tango, it's gotta say surprise, and it's gotta say, boy, are we gonna have fun. So now, here are the details, come on with me. Next, you need a great invitation. Let me tell you what my invitation is all about. Everybody thinks if you're 70, you're dead, right? So that's my title. It says, and you thought she was dead? And it's a prayer card like the kind you send out when people actually die. Get it? Okay. And it gives my birth date, not my death date, because I'm not dead yet. And it says, it's a surprise. Barbara's 70th birthday party. When it is, details on reverse. It tells them all kind of early. But what they won't notice, the spoofs on them. Come on. Note on preparation, I mean real preparation. I had a list of everything that had to be done, every little thing for a week in advance, moving furniture out and make a dance floor, figuring out every speck of every costume, seeing how the lighting was, being in the space at the exact hour that the party is gonna happen, so I see what the light's like, how many candles I need, how the reflections are. The atmosphere has to be so delicious, so the minute people walk in, they say, oh my God, this is gonna be a good, good time. I also have a list of every single thing, and check them off, check them off, and then I have Emily, who's the point person, and she has a minute by minute schedule exactly of what should happen when from the moment the first guest arrives to the moment they leave. Everything's taken care of. There will be no slip-ups. It's like building a new business. I'm good at that. And now for the big reveal. I can't wait for the people to come down the stairs. Where's Barbara? They're all waiting for me to come in the door. And then this is the big surprise. Come here, come here, come here. I'm surprising them because I'm gonna be dead. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say either. Barbara's ever been quiet. We did a stool. I forgot I was 70. <laughs> so I'm going to be in here, right? Picture it. With a gorgeous red dress to go with the tango theme. But I'm going to be dead. And you know why I'm going to be dead? For one reason only. Because the invite said, and you thought she was dead? And also because I want to hear what everybody's going to say about me before I die. So I'm going to let someone invite everybody to say a few words about me. Lord, please help us understand <laughs> how it took only seven days to create the universe, but 70 years <laughs> to get Barbara to look this good. Oh, I'm very thankful for all of you to be here and come, come here, but I'm so thankful for all her money. <laughs> That's committing to a thing.
leaving no detail overlooked. After all, you only turn 70 once. This is our last day.